and girls in the classroom, but does it help them learn any better? Or well, does it cause other social problems? It's the focus for this morning, Sunrise On Demand. Uh, let's seek the advice of teen psychologist Dr Michael Carr Gregg and also with us John Charlton, the principal of Kilvington Grammar School, which is, used to be an all-girls school, but this year has allowed boys as well. Good morning to you both. Michael, several state education departments are trialling separate classes. Uh, why? Well, I think it's because of the significant differences between boys' and girls' brains. It's silly to think that gender doesn't matter. A 2007 study done by the National Institute of Mental Health scanned 826 uh, brains and found that in the occipital lobe, for example, of girls, it showed most development between the ages of 6 and 10, and that's to do with visual processing, and there wasn't really much action in boys till after 14. So there are brain differences, they learn differently. John, what do you think of that? Because your school used to be all girls, adding boys now. Why? Well, clearly boys and girls are wired differently and they have learning needs uh, which are quite varied. But I think the debate regarding gender issues in schools, whether they should be single sex or mixed, uh, really comes back to the quality of the teaching. Uh, quality teachers are, one, they are very good at the, their knowledge of a particular subject, they're excellent in relating to children, but they also have great uh, uh, powers to engage their student, students through uh, their different learning needs. So good teachers cater for the individual differences of each child and I think that's the argument that sits above the gender-based mm. arguments that go on currently. Yeah, Michael, a lot of parents would say, oh, if you have single-sex schools, then the social negatives are quite big. That you know, girls go boy crazy and vice versa uh, socially because they're not mixing with each other, particularly if they don't come from big mixed families. Well, Koshi, I didn't come from a big mixed family and I went to Sydney Grammar School, which is a single sex boys school. I think um, I socialised outside of school fine and um, I don't know, you and I have known each other for a while. Did I turn out OK? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that a bit later, I think. But yeah, that's one of the myths though, isn't it, Michael? Oh, look, I think it is, and I think one has to recognise that kids are at school from about 9 till about 3.30. They do a lot of things in, um, outside of that time, mm -hmm. and of course many single-sex schools now do bring in other genders from, the, from other schools, so there is mixing. Yeah, look, it's a tough one. A lot of us went through co-ed and we seem to come out okay as well. And there are a lot of co-ed, you know, schools right around the country. Yes. So I guess we yes. will, um, yes. you know, everyone has their view. Thanks very much for joining us this morning, both of you.